guys, thank you so much for bringing our joyful Christmas box into your home. This is one of my favorites, especially with that red truck, which I'm gonna show you some fun tips and tricks for all of these. And we're gonna be starting with the joy over here. So one thing about painting words, I find a little bit easier. I'm gonna dip it in the red here to get us started. It's just to push it down a little bit on your plate and spin. So this will give you a nice fine tip. So when you're going over that stamp there, that's a little bit more intricate with the script, you can be sure that you're not going to make it too big. The other thing I find helpful with the words, and I'm actually going to rinse my brush before I do this just so that I don't get paint all over my apron here. Take the back of your brush, dip it just lightly, and for the dot on the J, just a sweet little circle there. That way you guys don't have to worry about making it perfect with the front of your brush. So one other thing I find that's super easy and helpful with these ornaments is you kind of piggyback them off each other. So you might do the red on the truck, the red on the lights, and the red on the joy, and then go back and start again. This way it just lets it dry in between. So that's what I'm going to do here. So with the holiday lights, one tip that I find awesome for these is you start at the end of the light just because it's a little bit pointier, and you do the light bulb first. And the reason that we do that is so that you can go back over with the green, and you don't have to worry about making that bottom perfectly round. So dip your brush in the red and just do the outline first on that first bulb there and then fill it on in. And so the way I did this was a pattern and you'll see that on the back of your box there. But it's every third light. And you go over and do the same thing on the other side. I love painting holiday lights. It's one of my favorite things. Especially adding that little bit of gold at the end. So now you're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna show you guys an awesome trick for this truck over here. So when we paint trees, one thing I like to do is mix both of the greens because you get a lot of definition with a lot, a lot of effort at all. So I took a little bit of the dark green and a little bit of the light green out of my paint pots here and I put it on my plate. And the reason is I want to make sure to keep some of the paint clean so that if you have to do any touch-ups later, if you're still working on your ornaments, you just want to make sure not to, to mix in the pots. So when I do the trees, I like to start at the bottom. So I dip it once in each color green. And with the truck, the only trick is I would first do a line just above the bed of the truck, just to make sure you're not overlapping down there. And then start at the bottom and follow those outer lines in. And work your way up. They almost look like shark fins. And so by doing this and dipping it once in each, you're really getting an awesome two-tone effect with not very much effort at all. And keep working your way up there. And then you're going to fill it in the same way with those two colors. And that's gonna apply for this tree here too. So again, just like the truck starting at the bottom, you're gonna do those outer lines. And you're gonna have to keep dipping every brush stroke or two. Just because these, these reclaimed wood slices really suck up the paint. That's actually one of my favorite parts about these too, is they're um, crafted from Colorado aspen trees that fell naturally in the woods. So fun fact there about our DIY boxes. And you just work your way around and keep painting. And the last thing I want to show you with this tree here, and let me clean my brush off real quick. So you'll notice we didn't include brown in this box. And the reason is because it's more fun to mix your own. So grab a little bit of black, a little bit of red, again on a plate and not in the paint pots there. I'm just going to mix them together until you get either dark brown, light brown, whatever level that you guys want. And again, I'm spinning my brush just so I can do a fine point here. And work your way around that tree trunk. And then fill it in. Okay. Again. 
Again, thank you guys so much for purchasing our joyful Christmas box. This is such a fun one. And be sure to check out our exclusive Facebook page. If you go to painbytheshore.com and then click on join the group, you can head on over there. We post super fun updates and project ideas and also a couple exclusive sales. So keep an eye out for that and thank you all.